large language models are really good at helping to summarize a piece of text. So we decided we tried to use this to take our video transcripts and produce a summary from them. And then from that summary, also produce a few tweets and a few other ways to promote the videos that we do for things like PPC Town Hall. Now, we ran into a limitation of chat GPT or GPT in general. The input that you can give it is generally not very long. So when you take the transcript from a 30 minute video that you produced, you have to first start by cutting down that transcript and then feed it into the system. So let me show you how this works. First, I'll show you in GPT, then we'll show you in Google Bard. So here's the transcript of the video. Now there's many ways to get these transcripts. We happen to use Descript, which is one of the things we use for video editing. So we're going to ask it to, can you summarize what was said in this transcript? And then I'm just going to copy and paste in the whole text and I'm going to send this to GPT. And we get an error that says the message was too long, so we have to reload it and submit something shorter. Now, I also have access to Bard from Google. I decided to see if it could handle this longer transcript and turn it into a summary. So I'm asking it the exact same question. I'm just going to copy and paste it over here. Now, notice that it does actually limit the input at some point here, but it's, it's actually allowing you to put in much more than GPT would. And then we send this in for processing. Here's a summary of the transcript. And you can take a minute to read this. Now, I obviously, I recorded that video, so I know what it's about. And this is actually a fairly good summarization of what was said in that video. So this was much more helpful, Google Bard was, than GPT. Now, what we noticed is that Bard actually did do the cutoff in the input form. So it's very clear how many characters and tokens it can deal with. So what I've done is I've copied and pasted where Google Bard cut it off. And I'm going to put this back into chat GPT. I'm going to use the 3.5 model. I'm going to paste that in so you can see it's a weird cutoff here, but it's the same length as what Bard was accepting. And now GPT is able to process it. And so here's what it says. Now let's do one more thing and let's see if model four gives us a better summary. So for that, I'm once again going to start a new chat. Uh, I'm on the paid plan, so I have access to GPT-4, but anyone can pay their 20 bucks and get access to this, or you can also access it through the paid API that OpenAI has. And we're going to paste in that same message with the same weird cutoff. And one thing to note is that chat GPT is significantly slower. I've got a video that shows you how it's about 12 times slower, so we can actually read along as it does the summarization. But you can see it's writing a little bit more nicely. So instead of a single paragraph, it's putting the output into a couple of paragraphs. So there you have it. And then you can sort of see the quality between the different systems and decide which one is right for you. But that is one way that we found that we can actually work with longer input pieces of data and still get them through uh, the large language models and GPT.